We're taking wasted fruit from people's yards. We're picking that fruit, packing it out, and either giving it to the food bank or selling it. On the days that kids or team leaders work, they get paid. On the days that we sell the fruit, they get paid. The purpose is to take wasted fruit and turn it into food and income for the people picking that fruit and selling that fruit, whether they're kids or team leaders. It's been pretty successful. I mean, there's not a lot of profit in fruit, not a lot of money in it, but there's a lot of satisfaction. And for a kid, a kid can make 10, 12, 15, 20 bucks an hour. 15 bucks, I would have to say, would probably be our average over the last four years, 15 an hour. So that's pretty good for a kid that's 17, 18, 19 years old, 20 years old. They can come and work for one day. That's pretty hard. It's better if we get a kid that builds up a little bit because picking fruit is labor. You're working. It's pleasant labor. A uh, lot of time with birds. A lot of time with people that are happy to have you there. A lot of time outdoors. So you need to like those things, or you probably won't like citrus for kids. Unless you're one of the wonderful people that buys our fruit at the farmer's market. And that has also become a real joy for me at the farmer's market, unexpected. Understand, I've been to farmer's markets off and on for many, many years, and they're fun to visit. It's fun to have a booth, and we're selling our fruit for, you know, five pieces for $2 or, something like that. So two, people spend two, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, but it adds up. At least a dozen people at our little Awatuki market come every Sunday to get fruit. And a lot of them have started uh, citrus regimens because the fruit's available. I will say that the fruit we're picking, it is in yards, it's in uh, confined spaces much, much better than the grocery store fruit. Most of that grocery store fruit is coming from California, some from Texas, commercial farms. And I mean, for commercial farms, it's okay, but when you compare it to the fruit we're picking and delivering, whoa. Now the oranges are pretty good and I certainly don't wanna slam the citrus growers in California. That's not my goal. I do wanna lift up the citrus in Arizona. Matt was one of our first kids. You can see him on Facebook. You can see him on the website. So uh, he doesn't pick anymore. It got to be too much for him. He doesn't like heights. And uh, it helps if a kid can climb up and down a ladder, which is a big deal for a lot of kids, by the way. So that's one of the things we can teach them. And after a couple of times, after a few days, picking becomes much, much easier. So the second week, it starts to get easier. The third week, easier. After the third or fourth week, if a person's picking, say, two times a week, two days, four hours a day, it becomes easy and your body changes and it's very um, refreshing. It's a workout but it's outdoors and it feels great. People contact us through their homeowners association. Uh, the homeowners associations have been contacted. A lot of them know they're there. We have our website, Citrus for Kids. I read the mail, citrusforkids at gmail.com. Our Facebook page is a great place, Citrus for Kids on Facebook. That way you can get immediate contact and response. Citrusforkids at gmail.com is good. It's just a little slower response. And then you, we can trade phone calls from there if we need to. I want team leaders for different communities. Like at Scottsdale, we have a huge demand and there's even people, other groups doing it and there's still a huge demand. So a team leader for Citrus for Kids would be great. We're getting calls from Glendale and Peoria. Too far for us, but a team leader would be great. Mesa. Um, like I mentioned, we're, we're forming a, a relationship uh, with that food bank over there, which is big, a big one. There'll be a lot of need in Mesa for picking that fruit to deliver to the food bank. Citrusforkids.org. Come visit us. Come talk to us. You can help us in many ways, and we look forward to having you be involved. Thank you.